Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're doing a really simple video but it's a very necessary video at the same time. Now I'm really bad at this and a lot of people start hitting me up on Instagram saying you really need to change your air filter, it is disgusting. The engine will be suffering, you'll be sucking in dirty air, be losing fuel economy, all that sort of stuff. So I thought make this video for people like me that really need to change the air filter but don't really know when and what kind of air filter to buy. In Australia, well a lot of people will probably go like a cane air filter, probably the, one of the premium air filters on the market. They're reusable, you clean them out, you can wash them, all that sort of stuff so you can keep using them and use them. There's less stuff going to the landfill, it's a lot easier. Now for us in Australia, things are a lot more expensive than the States. Now you guys also have a company called Green Filter. They, they market themselves as the best air filters for Jeeps. They suck a lot more air in than what a Canadian air filter does. It's proven to. And I had a look at them and they were cheaper. They were probably half the price of a Canadian one one of a Canadian one in Australia for the Jeep. For the Jeep is an American vehicle. And they're a little bit more expensive than like the Jap stuff. They're about $120 for a Kane in one and that's just a drop-in replacement air filter. That's not even like an air box or like the replacement pipe and that's really expensive. So for the green filter I think it's about $54 American. So if the exchange rate I think it was like $64 or $68. But then plus shipping, I was like, wow oh, that's actually a really good price. I'll grab that. It's going to be a great air filter. They're cleanable, reusable, don't have to chuck the other kind of paper ones out. It's going to be a really good air filter. I had seen good reviews online and all that sort of stuff so if you guys do live in the states that could be an option for you but shipping to australia so if you guys live in australia new zealand any other countries shipping was super expensive i think it was 60 so the filter itself was about 52 dollars american exchange rate say 65 something like that it was 68 dollars shipping just to get it to australia and so it was 120 130 something bucks for that green filter and i was like oh, i might as well just pay a cane in one but that's already super expensive as is. So how do you figure out what kind of air filter is best for you guys? So what I went with was just a standard paper filter. This was the original one we pulled out of the Jeep. You can see how filthy and dirty it is. It's well overdue for a replacement. Now how do you know what kind of air filter and when to replace yours? So first we'll rip out the... We'll show you guys how to change the air filter on your Jeep. This We've got the 3.8 litre um, older. Um, JK motor, it's already pretty much the same thing for the newer JKs. Got a few tabs at the top, click that, that, you got one just down here, which on mine is actually not connected, and you got one at the back, um, back of the motor just there. So you click that down, and the air box comes up. So the, that's our air filter, we've replaced it with, like oh schmick that looks compared to that. <laughs> so I just got with a replacement filter, these were $34 from uh, Spares Box, delivered to the door which was really cheap. Now you can obviously tell that it needed a good replacement, look how filthy that is. Now I have cleaned this one out just by banging against the pole, it does clean them out fine, but obviously that needed a replacement years ago, that was pretty much sucking in nothing. So I went with one of these mainly because... They're a lot cheaper, they're easier to find, so if I do need a replacement one, I can get one shipped to my door or anywhere else in Australia really fast. Much easier to come by, you can buy these from Super Cheap Auto. They are a little bit more expensive than I found it on Speedbox. You can buy them eBay, Amazon, stuff like that, and they're just a direct replacement filter for the stock air box. Now, they are not reusable, you can clean them, or like blow them out with an air compressor, bang them out if you need to, and I find that a lot of people who do a lot of big trips where you might be in the middle of nowhere don't really have, have access to either a proper air compressor to blow these out or a good way to clean them. So with the K&N ones they might be a little bit harder to clean and reuse when you're out on the trails for a couple of weeks, a couple of months if you're out in the desert. You don't really have the right equipment to be able to clean the K&N K ones out. So having a spare, uh, just a replacement ones like these one or two spares in your car, doesn't take up a lot of room, you've got the replacements, chuck out the old one and you're good to go. One of the biggest things for me was accessibility as I said before. You can buy these from a range of different parts, stores in Australia and New Zealand and they're really cheap. I mean I can buy what three of these for the cost of a Canadian one and I change these 
Now how do you pick when to actually change them? Now that one's been in the Jeep for two years, obviously it needs to be changed long and before I actually had it. Um, so a lot of people recommend you do it every service, every 10,000 Ks. Now it really depends on how much four-wheel driving you're doing and what kind of four-wheel driving you're doing. I noticed we, we've been doing a lot of dirt road driving with a lot of um, dirt like coming up into the engine bay um, and into the actual air box and filter itself. So I should have changed that probably directly after each one of those runs or gave them, given a really good clean up each, after each one of those runs and I didn't um, and my bone's probably suffering because of that. So it really depends on what kind of four-wheel driving you're doing. If you're going through any sort of water, make sure you do check your air filter ASAP. Um, as soon as you have that water, check your filter, make sure it doesn't hasn't sucked in any water. Um, and if you're going down heavy dirt roads, beach driving probably doesn't really matter too much. Sand's probably not going to get into that air filter. But going down massive dirt roads, that air filter is just going to suck in all that dirt. It's going to clog that air filter, air filter and it's not going to perform as it should be. So it kind of depends on what kind of four-wheel driving you're doing. I should probably be looking at these every two to three months, not every service, every five to 10,000 Ks, whatever you're servicing your Jeep. But it's really simple guys. I should have changed it long ago. I'll leave it all linked down in the description below if you guys want to buy just a replacement filter for your Jeep. Uh, you guys, everyone knows about the k &N filters. Everybody knows about the green filters. If you guys want to check those out, if you are in the States, I will leave a link down below for the green filter. But make sure you guys do check these. They are a big component inside your Jeep that can one, decrease fuel economy, performance, um, and a poor performing Jeep. They're already underpowered and sluggish as is. And I could definitely notice a, it wasn't a massive difference, but it was definitely a difference between going from that one to that one. It was definitely a big difference changing filters on the response of the actual Jeep itself. So, if you guys like this video, sorry to put it back in. You just have to lift up your air box. And the other thing I've been doing is checking inside the air box um, to see how dirty it is inside that. All these seal, seals and stuff in there. All the seals and stuff in there tend to get really dirty. So I normally go along, like I should do now, and actually clean those out. That way you've got a good seal around the actual air box, so no water and stuff get in. And I'll just make sure there's no dust, debris and stuff in the actual air box being sucked in by the air filter. So I lift that up. Pop the new filter in. Re-click it. And you're good. That way your air filters change, it doesn't take a long time, but it's definitely a big beneficial thing to do for your Jeep. So that's pretty much it for today guys, really simple video, but I think it's a lot of things, sometimes there's these small things a lot of people overlook that can make the biggest difference to a really good running Jeep. Um, and a really good running Jeep has mass massive benefit to a lot of people, including myself. So if you guys like this video, smash that like button. If you want to check out those filters, I'll leave it in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Ah, if you guys do have any, any requests or thoughts on future videos we can do, either servicing Jeep, like uh, filters, we've done an oil change video, we've just done this video, but if you guys got any other ideas or thoughts on other videos we should make that will benefit you and maybe a lot of other people, we're going to do benefit, uh, videos that will benefit a lot of people rather than just content that's just not me. I love being inside the garage. I love doing things, I love tinkering, this is what the channel is about. So if you guys got any ideas for videos, leave them in the comments below, I'd love to hear them. Whatever it might be, we've got, we're doing a um, headliner video um, in a couple of weeks, and we're also doing the fenders on the Jeep, we've got a spare set there, so we'll be doing that in a couple of weeks. So if you guys want to stay tuned for those, hit that subscribe button, I'd love to um, see you guys subscribe. A bit more if you can, that really help me and the channel out, um, and leave a comment with what kind of videos you guys like to see. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.